Hey everyone, I'm Nog, and welcome back to Satisfactory. I am over here at what is going to be our steel beam, encased industrial beam, and concrete factory. And over on this big platform over here, it's not that big, it's uh, three wide and however long it is, we're going to be producing steel beams. Uh, over here, we are going to be producing concrete. And over here, I hope I can jump this far, yes I can, we are going to be producing encased industrial beams. So I have left holes here for our uh, conveyor lifts and as well on the other side and have some uh, foundation down here and all of this down here is going to be storage area. So yeah. So we're kind of gonna have three towers here, one for each production line, and I hope this is gonna work. So what we need to do is start to set up some um, some uh, machines. So I'm thinking that we'll start with industrial or uh, concrete, maybe. And let's see, do I have what it takes to make constructors? Yes, I do. Let's put constructors on six. So let's see, if we build a constructor here, like that, maybe. Yeah, that'll work. And configure it for concrete. Then we can see that we need 10 of these machines in a row to fill, uh, to use a full uh, 450 belt. So let's see, we do not have anywhere near that kind of space. So how many can we fit here? Well, let's just do it all the way from the end. I want to be able to have a wall down here. Let's just stick a wall and make sure that we can. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we will make it one wider. It is what it is. So ten. All right. And let's see if we do assemblers. We don't have what we need for assemblers. So we'll do that a little bit later. But if we jump down here. We can set up some constructors here as well. And what is going to be here. And let's just configure it for uh, steel beams. So we need 15 of these to be able to use one full. Okay. Let's just stick a wall here again and make sure that we have room for one. And one. Good. 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we have a bit of extra space down here. That's okay. And what we could do is just cut it short, which I think we will. But just for good measure, maybe we should not have one all the way at the end, just to leave a one foundation space to be able to work around something if we need to. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so we have these going. All right, we have those set up. Let's uh, let's just do if we put splitters on seven and mergers on eight. And we need. See, we need input there. Like so. And then we need it to come that way. We need a ton of splitters here. Like that. And on the other side, we need mergers. We're gonna run out of cable, I think. But I think I have some made somewhere. I'm not entirely sure, but I think so. Okay. We have a nice row of splitters there, and then we need mergers over here. And I guess we'll make the output go other way. So we will have output here. So, oh, we don't need cable for the mergers. That's good. All right. at least two more there okay this one doesn't actually need to be a merger right now <coughs> excuse me okay so yeah that's gonna be our basic setup for those two let's uh, I want to go get some frames so that we can build some constructors or uh, assemblers so let's just do that real quick um, i'm not sure if i have any probably not uh, i do have three that's not gonna be enough um, let's see what am i missing i guess i'm missing something no, not that really let's make some modular frames here um, what's going on there all right so now we can build let's go to production let's say we want five of them that means we need three more modular frames which we can make there and we could do with some cable let's just see if we have some cable somewhere uh, no cable there no cable there nope 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 okay 
and let's make some cable. That'll only take a second. I'm not gonna make 700 of it, don't worry. Let's get to like 200 cable or something. And then I think we're good to go. We have the rotors. So yeah. And I want to bring steel beams as well. Which we have in here, I think. Yes, we do. Some at least. Let's go over here. And get up there and get some stuff set up. Well, I wonder how many... Assemblers we need. Basically, I've made this so it doesn't turn into a, a truck pool table or something like that, right? So they won't run into each other from each side all the time. And we need to go over here. Whoa, not over there. That's gonna hurt. So let's try setting up a assembler and just see what it needs or encased industrial beams. So it needs four steel beams and five concrete. And it produces four per minute. Oh man, that's not a lot. That is not a lot. And it uses 16 steel beams per minute. Um, this is not going to be an easy piece of math. Let's see, if we could take concrete up to 25 per minute, that's a 25% increase. That would take steel beams up to 20 a minute means we, have, we would have to overclock everything, but I'm okay with that, and that would mean we're producing five encased industrial beams per minute instead, so five of those would produce 25 encased industrial beams per minute. Is that enough? I think we want more. I would like one full tier one belt minute I think at least eventually not right now not necessary right now but okay we need uh, we need more more is better right but we can set up the assemblers that we have and let's see we have the input of Limestone there, which means we have the output there, which means we want... Maybe we actually want to turn this around. I think we want to turn that around. Because we'll be outputting it down there as well, right? Somehow. Actually, I should move yeah we should actually move concrete to the front and in case industrial beams to the back if you get what I am what I'm trying to say so because we'll have output here and we only have five outputs here which is going to be for concrete so, if we do like this, uh, let's get the wall first, just to make sure that we have room for one. There. Why did it not build? There. And then get the constructors. And we'll be outputting concrete, so we want it to go that way. 
I think. Two. Yeah. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, and that's what we needed, right? Yeah. All right. So we can tear this out. And that's fine. Fine. And then we can go over here. And build our assemblers and the assemblers should go in this way well, let's make sure we have room for walls again oh there we have one down there so assembler assembler there why can i only build four i have no idea Needs to be in the middle. Man, do we have? They make these bigger. I think they made these bigger. Because there's absolutely not room for everything here. We do not have room for a merger over here, do we? We do actually. But do we then have room for a wall? No. Hmm. Okay. So this might need to be one wider. And we can't do that that way. That's where the materials are coming up. So we're going to make it one wider this way. We'll just add some character to the building. That's fine. And we want the uh, those ones oh, where did that go there don't go there ah, don't go there either go where I want to use there we go just add a bit of interesting visuals to the building it's fine uh, let's see the assembler let's go this way and let's be pretty much in the middle so like that one two three four and that's all we can afford right now let's set these up to encased industrial beams immediately so I don't forget I have a tendency to forget these things all right and we can actually fit a few more in there which is good and we could extend it out that way as well and make it an even in more interesting look no, interesting does not, does not mean weird. Okay. So we have those things set up. Let's do some uh, mergers here. And we will merge. Mm, I guess, whoops. We will merge this way. So that we have the concrete coming up down at the end where we'll be making encased industrial beams as well. Believe me, I do realize that we need concrete for other things than encased industrial beams, but uh, 
and, and we will get that. Whoa, I did not want to jump down. Because we'll, we can just build higher, right? So. Alright, so we have the mergers set up there. And that means that we need splitters here. And it will be coming in from that side. And then we're going this way. This. And. One thing I have forgotten to do, actually, is to go check if we have any uh, alternate recipes, which I'm sure we do. And alternate recipes are usually pretty good. So let's just jump down and go over to the hub and check that out. And see what our alternate recipes need. Maybe we can do something better than what we have going here. I kind of hope not, because now I've set everything up. Mm. So let's take a look at alternate recipes. We've already done the screw one, there's nothing there. We have an alternate for quick wire. And... We have an alternate for Caterium wire. Don't need that. Very modular frame. Don't need that. Rubber cable, Caterium circuit board. Don't need that. So we don't have one for encased industrial beams right now. So all is fine. Oh, we do have a hard drive in here, I think. Yes, we do. So let's see. Modular frame or square. Screws, steel screws, still 90 per minute, Ooh, 180 per minute, but it will need steel beams, but that is actually quite nice, I'm okay with the one we have, and then we have iron ingots, so we'll do modular frames, yep, and then Let's stick something else in there that we can an analyze. Uh, let's do uh, my C. Search my Celia. Go in analysis and stick the my Celia back in there. All right. So we are getting set up over here. And we just need to get everything hooked up with belts, more or less. So, and it's going to be a little bit tricky with the uh, conveyor lifts and all of these truck stations, but we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. Let's jump up. Uh, go over here because here we need some splitters as well and we need one there there and there is that right yeah it looks right and then we need one here so, and one there, and then we, ah darn it, we need belt up top first. Uh, so, what I want to do is get a recipe, well, to get conveyor pole stackables, uh, let's just put them on six for now. And then we will put that on three and that on. Oh, I already had it on three and that on four. All right. 
So I want a wall and I want just a single conveyor wall right there, right there. And then we can set up the splitters down here. There. 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 No, we cannot. Wait. Because we need to get the belt in first. And might be a problem. If we do like that, can this then come down to there? Yes, it can. That's good. And then we need one of these over here somewhere. I'm thinking right in between this one and the next one. Something like that. Does that work? Yeah, that works. And hook it up over there. And then we can stick the splitters in down here. One, two, three, four, and five. All right. And then we need. Come on. Come on. Just come in here. And it will up be upgraded to Mark 4 eventually. There we go. And then we need splitters up top. Right there. We need one here. We need one here. We need one here. And the last one, right here. There we go. And hopefully... Uh, let's just do... We, we won't need more than conveyor belt mark 1s for this, so... Oh, come on. Please. Thank you. Uh, there. 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 So we basically have the input set up for five of these machines to go. They'll be going full tilt right now because we only have five, and there'll be more material than that, and that coming in. So there. That's all of the input for the encased industrial beams. For these five machines anyway. And then we'll do output, and I think we'll do output down in this direction. So we'll do output this way. So we'll need mergers. And the first one doesn't need a merger. The next one does though. Where is it there? And is that lined up correctly? Yes it is. Alright, good. So let's get some mergers going. Two. Three. Four. And that's all the mergers that we need for now. Oh, we don't need that. We need that. And then we need one down here. Come out here. 
Yeah. And then we need the Mark III belts. I think. Actually, we don't. We just need Mark ones, but let's just, let's just overkill it a little bit. Alright, so we have the assemblers hooked up to the belts. And next, it's constructors, both for concrete and beams. And then it's trucks. And all of that we are going to get going in the next episode, guys. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and maybe subscribe so you don't miss out. And I'll see you next time.